Today we're going to talk to you about a workstation crane's uh, rigid type system and enclosed track flexible type system, which is the Cuddle product here. Uh, this product you'll notice is uh, a, a steel body, uh, single profile on both sides. Basically these two halves are assembled together uh, and then they're lugged at each end. Uh, it's 60 grade um, material is used for all the hanger assemblies and the body of the rail is uh, 80 grade material. Now you notice uh, there's a lug, this is just a short assembly uh, showing how the ridges, uh, bridges and uh, runways are built. Uh, th there's a, a lug set up at each end and you either bolt an end plate on here or you would bolt uh, two sections of runway together. Uh, and then these three bolts, these are basically three quarter uh, socket head uh, cap screws, uh, grade 8, and they basically align uh, both tracks up if you're bolting sections together so there's a smooth transition uh, from one rail section to the next. So basically uh, sandwiches the two uh, rails together nice and tight and that way it provides for a nice uh, smooth transition. Uh, you'll notice in t and also inside here uh, is the internal conductor bar that uh, we talked about in other videos. Uh, that the end trucks and trolleys uh, slide back and forth inside this section and collect all the power that's located inside this rail. Works very similar to uh, how a track lighting would uh, slide back and forth and collect power. Um, all the Kendall crane systems uh, are, uh, the units are pre-primered uh, when they come in, uh, the steel. They're basically sheared to length, whatever your requirement is, uh, you know, up to within a sixteenth of an inch uh, of your requirement. Uh, and then it, this, it's coated with two coats of primer and then one, one final coat of enamel. Uh, the, the hardware is then mounted uh, on your rail systems and basically where your, your purchase order is sent in, uh, you have a, a set of blueprints that go along with it and you spec out where you want your hangers and how you want your posts and where they want to be located and uh, basically all the hardware comes pre-assembled and pre-installed on every Cundle crane system. So when you get the unit, you basically uh, just bolt your post down or put your uh, ceiling hangers in and uh, there's a, a leveling rod that's provided in every hanger assembly to level up your runway system. Uh, basically it's a spherical nut at the top with a spherical washer along with a ball joint down here uh, to allow the, the unit to uh, swing and pendulate and articulate to allow free movement of the crane system. These are all located according to the print that you sign off uh, for the bill. So you don't basically get a pallet full of hardware that you have to take and put together uh, yourself. Uh, in addition, there's an end plate on the end of each crane system that has another additional bumper uh, aside from the bumpers that are included on the uh, and trucks and trolleys. This is a uh, an another forged component of Kundal. Uh, it's a 1030 uh, steel uh, forged component. This unit and this rod here uh, have been low tested uh, to over 50,000 pounds. So the safety factor, uh, like in most uh, Kundal crane components, are uh, 10 to 1 versus industry standard uh, being 5 to 1. Uh, so. In addition to that, uh, we're looking at here would be a typical uh, competitor workstation crane system. I'm not sure if you can see them side by side. This would be uh, the initial profile of Kundal, uh, which we, it would be called a K12, which is called K12 for the reason basically it's 12 pounds per foot. Uh, and the designation for all Kundal workstation cranes are similar, whether it's K16, uh, K22, K26, or K30. The designation uh, is basically spelling out the weight per foot. Uh, this unit here would be a competitive uh, workstation crane to this Kundal unit here. This is a uh, rigid workstation crane. And you'll notice basically like a, a C-channel design. Uh, it almost looks very similar to a ladder uh, or a truss design here. You will see uh, the C-shaped channel, basically a 2x2 two two tube, another 2x2 two two tube. And they're basically just uh, welded together uh, to provide uh, the bridge or runway or whatever is, is needed. Uh, this system uh, not only is rigid um, in the way it moves and tracks, it's very light and uh, the way it's set up, it almost works, uh, the, the way it's designed with headers, almost works very similar to like a, a cage uh, where it, it takes uniform loading very well. Um, 
the reason why it's done that way and the there's headers that are required to tie the system back side to side and uh, also with units like this since it is rigid and if you were to run your bridge uh, into your end of your runway the potential shock and the vibration of the unit that's typically why you would see a disclaimer in the top right hand corner of the prints that says basically if you don't want your system to move or wobble or shake during loading that they recommend you tie this type of unit off now the reason that is uh, so that the unit doesn't shake and uh, these tiebacks and sway bracing what they call them aren't included in your purchase and will be it will be an additional cost you will have to consider uh, that you'll have to invest into to put this unit in your facility so it's truly not a freestanding crane system and it has to be tied back to your facility versus the Kundal crane system here uh, it's all freestanding uh, there's no tiebacks required um, basically you just bolt it down to an existing floor no specific foundation requirements on a typical three ton unit it's just uh, six inch of concrete 4,000 psi um, another thing we had talked about is the uh, lug end unit, how it bolts uh, two sections of rails together. Uh, competitors, they use basically like a, a C-channel uh, shape here, very similar to the C-channel here, and where it would just slide over, and then you would slide your next section of rail into here. Now you'll notice there's a series of uh, uh, bolts, they're kind of used very similar like set screws. Now you would have to tighten up these bolts and to properly align these two tracks when they would come together because sometimes they're slightly twisted so these these uh, fasteners here are used to kind of take the twist out of each rail section and then there's uh, like a little locking uh, jam nut here so it's not a uh, solid connection it's kind of a floating connection and uh, a lot of times there are issues with alignment and track uh, of the end trucker trolley uh, moving across those and smoothly so this is how they accommodate that it's still uh, very basic it's like entry level type of product versus the Kundal system which has the oversized lugs uh, for aligning the track so uh, typically if you have a load moving back and forth uh, on the bridge or runway and you hit these little inconsistencies in the track it's very hard to roll uh, your load over top of that so this is how the, both companies uh, handle products here and uh, competitor workstation cranes. These are how they accomplish the bolting of the, uh, the units together. Now the top here, there's a tube. There'll be a series of bolt holes where uh, just a series of plates that kind of bolt the top section together. But as far as the track itself, it's not bolted to the next uh, track in transition. So those are just a few little uh, key features. Uh, and the differences between the workstation cranes products you can tell, you can see side by side uh, the comparison of the two, two similar products. Now this unit is rated for a thousand pounds and this would be a similar unit that would be rated uh, for 500 to a thousand pounds also. Um, so you can see the, the units uh, basically side by side and you can tell by the gauge and the material and the differences in the profile how much uh, time and quality is invested into this product uh, versus a product versus uh, off-the-shelf tubing basically welded together um, but I think that pretty much sums up the differences between the two products and you can judge for yourself uh, which products uh, you, you like based upon the appearance not only that based upon the quality and craftsmanship that is put into both products um, I'd like to thank you for uh, Take the time to uh, view some of our videos to get yourself uh, more educated in the workstation crane industry and uh, get a feel for what type of products you're actually looking at. Because to us at Kundal, a crane is just not a crane system. You know, a crane is a product that you're going to be putting over somebody's head. So we take pride in producing a product like this. And uh, look for this and other educational videos at www.kundal.com.